surfaces, but it's been a long break, so let's remember what we were talking about last time. So last time, we, our goal, goal was to... So this word classify, it means we should, have, we should be able to list all, all surfaces. Have a, have a way to say, we have two, if I have a surface, it is, it, we have a list, we go, it's this one, in our list. So if you like this, it's going to be to list, list all possible surfaces. And we show, if we have a surface, surface. If we have a surface, what did we, what did we show? We showed it could be only a certain, certain types of surfaces. Oh, it is, planes, it is either, uh, it's either uh, connect sum of several projective planes or toruses. Or toruses. Okay. So then A is either two sphere, so a sphere, or a connect sum of toruses, a tori, or connect sum, or a connect sum of projective planes. Это все-таки не любая поверхность, а только когда без границы. Without boundary. So, so surfaces, so all surfaces without boundary. Without boundaries. Thank you for pointing that. So can you remember a surface that has boundary? Or a cylinder. A cylinder, so, so, so cool. Surfaces. What was one Mervis, more? Mervis. Mervis. Mm-hmm. So this so this classification scheme doesn't apply to these guys. Okay, and so I asked you to so we we did we did a lot of the steps in the proof, but to put it all together I asked you to put together an induction exercise. Did anyone have a go at that? Yes. Would you like to present it? No. Uh, I'm not sure if I can drop it. Should we, should we work together then? Okay, so... Uh, well, as you have shown well, on, the pre- on the previous lesson, uh, each, uh, we, uh, we can uh, present each surface as uh, a hash sum of uh, some other surface and a sphere, uh, or some other surface with a projective plane, um, or uh, some other surface with a torus, or Mm, two other other surfaces, but each of those other surfaces have less uh, edges. Few edges. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yes, fewer edges. So, so that would suggest if uh, if we're going to do induction, we can try induction on the number of edges. So let's let's try this. One. So by induction, we on the uh, given a certain style. Given a Gouli diagram, we'll induct on the number of edges. So induct. So each of you has told me that you're familiar with induction. Yes. Yes. Okay. So if I'm going to do induction on the number of edges, so let's say n is the n is the number of edges. I don't want to confuse it with this. So maybe number of edges. And this is a statement. The statement is that A is either a sphere, a connect sum of tori, or a connect sum of projective planes. Okay, so it's my induction statement. Uh, if, if we're inducting on the number of edges, what do I need to do first in an induction argument? In, in an induction argument, you have some statement that depends on the number, uh, some number n. So here we and you want to show it's true for all n. What is the first step in induction? Think, do you know what dominoes are? Yeah. What is, so how does induction work? You push over the first Please. domino Please. and they all fall down. Он боится, что вы не понимаете, что такое индукция. Ребят, докажите, что вы это понимаете. You can push at least one domino down to start your... So, so maybe it's just the English. We need, first step is to show it's true for n equals one. Or, so induction, you need to prove for the base case. First step, so one. And so, remember, so these are, let's see, these are uh, distinct, one distinct edge. If it has only one inch, then it is <laughs> it's cool. then either, either a sphere or a projective plane. Right, so because, mm-hmm. the because remember when I, we do a gluing diagram, each edge is paired up. And so, 
when we say when I say one distinct edge, what I mean is we could have the we have A and we've got to have it paired up somewhere. We only have one well, possible. Well we can have either either A A in the same direction mm -hmm. or A uh, inverse A in a different direction. Exactly right. So yeah, I've drawn A in both cases. We could either have it going this way or we could have it going that way. And in the first case it's a sphere and in the second case it's a project plane. Can you see that it's a sphere it's a sphere in A to here. So, the statement is true for when we've got one distinct edge. Okay. So now... You say, if I can tip one dom domino, then I can tip the next domino. If it's... assume it is true for surfaces with any distinct edges. With with indistinct size, we need to put a diagram with one more side. Well, a uh, surface with one more side, uh, as we proved uh, on the previous lesson, uh, can be either either a uh, surface with well, can be a hash zone sum of either a surface with n sides and a sphere and the projective plane and the torus or connect uh, uh, some of two surfaces with uh, less uh, edges. Okay, so let's, good, so let's, let's revisit it. So, so, mm -hmm. so we've got, we, let's look at this n plus one sides, extra sides. So consider this, so we call, consider one side, one, so, so we saw last time uh, we had some some cases. I don't remember how many of there were. Either we, the first case was that the side was a a. We looked at the case where we have the adjacent and the a. We had the case where they're not adjacent. So so. We had a word where we have a a bar. We had a word where it was da, 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 a a. We had a word where it was a and another a and a a. We had a word. We have uh, had something a something inverse a. Inverse a. And these these are what we call well, these split up in several cases. So if we so what happens? Do you remember what happens here? If we have a Ewing diagram and we have uh, a a then it's a sphere. Oh, it's something hey. Well then the the Ewing diagram okay. is something hash sphere. Okay, but so a is. Let me just draw an example so so we'll see what's happening. So. You have some blue diagram, mm -hmm. AA. So do you remember what happens here is that the you can draw it like this. And then you see those the seal up. Or an alternative way is to say that it's the connect sum of, of two uh, of a of a surface with yeah, is, is but this this bit here means you're connecting some of the sphere and this A prime is Fewer edges, sides, okay. and what about when we have two sides? It's uh, a equals it's a prime, prime hash, hash project. Okay, so a is a prime hash project plane, and again this a prime has fewer edges because we're taking out that side. What about when we have same as same as case? Two. Yeah, same. Uh, it is also a uh, a prime hash projective plane because we can cut it and reglue by the other side, so so, so, so that we get the same situation as in case two. So Nikolai is sorry, Andre. 
Andre is saying that we have some di diagram like this. Is that right? And we cut along there and re glue. And we get something looking like this. Okay, so this is also a, just a prime just a plane. And this one was a little bit more complicated, and we had a, several cases to deal with. Yes, would, there are glues between. Uh, Andre, would you better. like would you like to come up and remind us of this argument if you? Or, or, or I I think we can go through it again. Just. Oh. They're complicated, so we, let's let's just. Ah, I, we cut in the middle to this yeah. two sides, yeah, well, and well. then uh, we re-glue them. Yeah, so there's cutting around. There is two. No, there is the fifth piece. Oh well. Тут, это не пятый, это подварианты, четвертый. Ну, там еще есть несколько. Ну, let's just recall it. It's okay. We'll go look at the five. We have notes about that. So, the 4A case is if there are no glues between alpha and beta. Okay, so let's just recall it. So, in our picture we have A. And then somewhere else we have A going in the opposite direction. Yeah. And I think, Nicola, you were just saying the first case is that uh, all the sides on alpha are glued to sides on alpha, yes. and all the sides on beta are all are glued to sides on beta. So, case one. Okay, so in this case, so in this case we can uh, split split each alpha or uh, split each a. I'm sorry, into a one and a two, and uh, the, and yes, and then we can make a cut in the middle. Okay, so we redraw. Yeah. A one, a two. It's identified with this. And it's the same as, as Andre was saying, or the same as. Which are a surface of just alpha and surface of just beta. Mm -hmm. Well, mm -hmm. I mean uh, that uh, Please may just uh, connect some of so alpha. Leo, I can't go. Central desk. Where are the letters at the beginning? And how are the letters on the right side? One, two, like here. Okay. Well, this looks ugly. Uh, so this alpha, this is a one, a one. Connect some with a two, a two, and so fold uh, a one and a one, fold a two and a two and get that it's the same as a connect sum of alpha and and the, and the number of sides of each piece is uh, less than the number of the original surface the number of sides on the original surface So now, let's look at the next case. So, case two. Okay, do you remember what, how, what, what can we do then? So, we have. The, the, the next case is like the case two. 
if the bit uh, uh, if there is bit uh, in that direction and bit in that direction. Uh, mm -hmm. yes. so, uh, so there are two more is a with a cutout. Yes. So case uh, one. Uh, we have a picture. And this B runs in. Nicola, you were saying it runs in the same direction? So I'm going to draw this B over here. Which way am I going? Uh, up. Up. Okay. And what were you saying, Nicola, in this situation? So here is A. It's a uh, situation 2. It's a situation 2. We have a. We have a B. Oh, oh no, it's case three. Okay, three. Mm -hmm. This is case. Word A contains B, B. So, so in this case, A is a connect sign or something. And, okay, and, uh, well, we haven't referred, referred to the induction down argument, but let's just think. Um, in our induction, uh, we assume. But our reduction assumption was that it's true for for our, our reduction statement is true for all surfaces with n uh, n or fewer I should have said n or fewer distinct edges. Okay. So in particular, it's a prime because it has n or fewer distinct edges. Then this is a connect sum of vector planes or tori. Yeah. Okay. So a. So let me. So let me say. That. So a has at least n plus one distinct. Господа, есть, секунду, есть человек, который сейчас не понимает математику. А? Это, это есть математика. Еще, Максим, вы сейчас понимаете или нет? Математика нет. Здесь ничего не это меньше. Что за проблема? Что за проблема? Нет, нет, нет. Он просто спросил, если мы понимаем это. Oh well, I'll, I'll, let's we'll write it down in detail. Um, in no, we do answer. understand. Okay, but uh, okay. So that's subcase one. What is subcase two? Then we'll turn to the other. Subcase two is that we have a picture. And now it's going the same way. This one worked? It's like a torus with a cut eye. Yeah, so this is like a. Well, but actually, a. you also draw an A in the wrong, in the wrong oh, direction. Thank you. Yes. Uh, uh, they yeah, must. Mm -hmm. they, uh, thank you. This is. It's like a torus. So that's like a torus with a cutout. Now what? Yes, and well, now we can just uh, draw the cutout uh, <laughs> somewhere else, and we can see that uh, well, that um, the first part is a torus with a cutout, and the second part is uh, well, some other some other Do surface with a with a cutout. Do you want to illustrate it to us? What? You, would someone like to illustrate? Do you like to? Andrea, would uh, you like illustrate what you were saying? So the goal is to show this is a pink sum of something and something. Yes. Mm. Colors that you dispose of if you wish. No. Well, so well, this is a torus for the cutout. You've already stated that, pointed out. And uh, the remaining piece. Oh, well, uh, it is actually. 
Well, it's not. It's not quite. It looks like a torso. Mm, no, it, it is a torso to cut out. Well, I mean, uh, okay. Uh, because remember, these yeah, are being. I see what you mean. Uh, so let's just remember that these sides here disable them. So uh, uh, yeah, I I will do it mm -hmm. in a second. But I mean that this is a torso to cut out. Mm -hmm. And here we have alpha one, alpha two, beta one, and beta two. And so if we glue uh, the green, if we glue these pieces together. Something like oh, F1, and F2, where mm, this green side is glued to this. And, and now we can flip, flip it. Yeah, yes, uh, I. So that uh, the elephant are on the outside, uh, like. Just one, one second. Uh, okay. Can we just step? So that's this guy. And so, or this surface is a connect sum of uh, torus and uh, a surface like I mean that this whole surface, or actually it's this one, mm -hmm. is a hash, a hash sum of a kind of sum of torus, and the uh, well, and this thing without the cutout. You see what I mean? You see, see, so, uh, so, so could you give, so this so can you sum if you want to remember that means that you make a cutout in both of them, uh, so. In this, we make a cutout like this. So, uh, uh, I'll mm -hmm. And in our torus, we make a cutout like. <laughs> no, we make a cutout like. This. Good. And then we glue along those yes. resulting edges. Wonderful. Very good. Okay, so in this case. And again, with the A is Okay, so those are all the cases. So now let's return to our argument. So return. Okay, so return to our reduction argument. Just so we assume that's true if yeah, if A has n or fewer distinct edges. We suppose. We suppose. A has plus one distinct edges. Then we've seen uh, 
either a is as a knick sum of a prime and p, prime and is a prime t. And what was the other case we saw? Mm. Oh. A1 hash A2. Меньше, фьюа, меньше, различных, distinction, различия. Where distinct, uh, yeah, where each piece, eh, so, so, uh, e.g. Fewer edges in A, so these are letters. So, there's A prime, there's A prime, and our, and our statement here is, is N or fewer edges, distinct edges, so therefore a statement is true for it. So, what can we say about A prime by our induction assumption? Well, A prime has, uh, well, A prime can be. Uh, shown as a connect sum of uh, n uh, projective plane or n torus. Yeah, tor so, so a prime, so by the induction assumption. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So a prime is a connect sum of n Okay, so 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 e.g. A let's look at this case. Suppose A prime is connect sum of tori and our P. You see, so in this case, A prime it has n or fewer distinct edges. So by induction assumption, it's connect sum of tori or projective planes. So therefore, we get that A is a connect sum of tori and a projective plane. Then what do we do? We want to show it's connect sum of tori or projective planes. What happens now? Mm. Well, uh, tori hash projective plane is the same as uh, three, pro uh, three projective planes because well, uh, mm -hmm. because uh, torus hash projective plane is the same as uh, Klein bottle hash projected plane and the Klein bottle is a uh, connect sum of two projected planes. Oh, so now recall this is something we showed was the torus with the connect sum of the projected plane is the same as a Klein bottle connect sum of the projected plane and a Klein bottle is the same as two projected plane connect sum of two projected planes. I should leave it as an exercise. So that's so I've dealt with the case with n being one. Well, uh, and if I have n, then we can just uh, do the same with uh, all the following. To uh, n with with all of uh, the Tory, because well, because mm. if, when we get rid of one of them, we get uh, two extra uh, projected planes, so we can get rid of two more. Mm -hmm. So it's it's an, another induction argument. It's a mini induction argument. So. Oh, good. So if this is in, oh, good. So, uh, so by induction. So do you all agree? So if A is a connect sum in Torah and predictive planes, the question was how many predictive planes is it a connect sum of? Um. Well, the answer, uh, the statement was, if A is this, we've just shown that we could write it as a connect sum of projector planes, and the question was, how many projector planes? 2n plus 1. 2n two, two plus 1? 
does it work here for when is n is one? N is one, it's three, okay, and right. two n plus one. Uh, well, mm, I would. Oh yes, because each n gives us two extra projects. Yes. Okay, two n plus one. Okay, and let's just quickly look at the last two. And also, uh, and if a is a prime sphere, again, e.g., if If we have a is a is a is a connect sum with a prime and s, where a prime is a connect sum of projective planes, then what do we get? What happens if you can take connect sum of projective planes with a sphere? Well, it's the same as the connect sum of projective planes. Okay, so this this is the connect sum of a sphere doesn't do anything, and of and the argument for connect sum with a torus. Well, it should be similar to this one, shouldn't it? If it's a, if you have to connect some projective plane, then we can get. Oh, then we will just get mm, a plus two project. Well, so if we have uh, a prime equals uh, uh, n hash sum of n projective plane. Well then, and we connect something with the top first. Then we get uh, a hash sum of n plus two projective planes. Do you agree with that? Yeah. yeah. And, and by the way, in these examples, I've been looking at the more complicated example, right? Because if, if a prime is a connect sum of tori, then then we're good. Yeah. So. Uh, so, so can you can you say that one more time? How many bits of planes do you think we get? N plus two. N plus two. Is it true for n is one? And the last one. Last one. We can just repeat the process for alpha, a alpha, and a beta until uh, they, until all of them have will have uh, two distinct. Uh, well, until they all have like n distinct edges. Well, uh, for well that n for which we know that everything can be presented uh, like a connect sum of either. And uh, Tori or a uh, project plane. Okay, so so the first step would just be. So I'm going to take the hardest case, of course. So the hardest case would be. This is some um, kink sum of projective planes. This is some um, kink sum. Of... All right. Oh, well, yes. then we'll get. Uh, it's the same as this. Let me let me count. Uh, n plus two m uh, of of projected planes. Yeah. I mean, n plus two m. M plus two m. So I, again, I've taken the, the the hardest case because if a beta is connected some of projected planes, then we have m plus one projected. Planes. So how many? How many do you think, Andre? Two uh, n plus two m. N plus two m. N plus N plus N. Yes. N plus 2. Okay. Okay, so we've QED, as we said, we've finished our proof. Um, uh, questions so far on this? No. No. Okay. So.